What's up guys? In this video, we're going to go over OBS and virtual audio cables. As part of the OBS Super User Guidebook, I want to make it super clear how virtual audio cables can be used to allow OBS to send audio to applications like Zoom, Microsoft Teams, podcasting and audio software like Audacity. So let's take a look after this. Hey guys, real quick, just wanted to remind everybody you can get a free copy of the OBS Super User Guidebook in the links below. It is available on Amazon. And if you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, you can subscribe to our channel. Only about 10% of our viewers are subscribed, so we'd love to have you on board. If we can do anything better or you have any questions throughout this video, let us know in the comments below and I'll be happy to reply. All right, so installing virtual audio cables on your computer, whether it's a Mac or a Windows PC computer, will really allow you to use OBS in new and dynamic ways. Now, I've had a lot of questions about virtual audio cables, so I just want to explain a few things. First of all, there's a free virtual audio cable that you can download, and it comes with an input and an output. Those are a little strange. They're totally free. You can download them. Honestly, they will work if you want to send audio from OBS into another application like Zoom. But if you want to start sending audio to Zoom and then receiving it back as well and using OBS to record Zoom and going two-way, you're going to need the virtual cable A and B. That's been my experience. You can make a donation in order to get them. It's donationware. And I have them, and I'm going to go ahead and install them with you guys because I know there's been some like kind of in questions about installation as well. So if we go ahead and install the driver, one of the things, first things we'll remember is you need to right click and install as an administrator. So we go ahead and install the driver as an administrator, and we're going to install driver A and driver B separately. And then you do need to reboot your computer. At least that's what it says. We'll, we'll see about that. So there's cable A. Now we're going to install cable B very quick. All right. Now we're going to open up OBS and we're going to see if we have access to these. In our last video, we installed the audio monitor plugin. If you missed that, check out our last video because we're going to use that audio monitor plugin to send audio from OBS. So I've got some audio coming in. Okay. We've got a, an ad. That's fine. We'll go ahead and play some audio. So we've got some audio coming in. Now, the other thing we're going to do is we're going to go to filters and we're going to hit, okay, we've got audio monitor here. Great. Now, one of the things we're seeing here is we've got cable A and cable B. Now, I've been doing this for a long time. I really just, I like remembering cable A is my audio input. It's my microphone, my input into Zoom, and then B is my speaker coming out. All right. So we've got audio going out to cable A, and we're going to go ahead into Zoom. We're going to start a meeting and we're going to show how to, that audio can be pumped from OBS into Zoom. So here we go. For our microphone, we're going to click cable A. Pop it out. And yes, audio is coming in. So we've got audio coming into to, to Zoom from OBS. So I like to use, again, cable A as my output. So what we're going to do to bring audio back from Zoom into OBS is we're going to add an audio input capture. And we're going to use cable output. This, uh, I have two diff three different virtual audio cables, just to be clear. Cable A, cable B, and cable output. And this is just something that might happen to you guys, so I want to be completely honest. I had to actually use the cable output as my input inside of OBS. And I'll save that. And inside of Zoom, I had to use cable input as my speaker. And this is a little confusing. It, these virtual audio cables can sometimes be a little crazy, but this is the logic, I guess, from VB Audio, is that this cable input and cable output, they are the same cable. It's just one side and the other, even though they're showing up as microphones and speakers, whereas cable A and cable B can be either a speaker or a microphone. Hopefully that clears it up. But to test that this is working, so essentially, if we hit the speaker button here, you'll see, and I'm going to move zoom over so we can see both the audio input capture and the audio settings. And so we can see that when we hit test speaker, 
it comes into the audio input capture. That's what we wanted to do. Again, I, if you're gonna to wanna to do audio both ways, you're gonna need cable A and cable B. So I'm gonna be honest, virtual audio cables aren't the most intuitive thing in the world, but you can get them working and I hope this video was helpful. We talked about the new audio monitor plugin, We've now gone over virtual audio cables. Next, we're gonna look at VST2 plugins and your audio experience in OBS will, I'm sure, be improved. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.